let's do a new exercise in SolidWorks. This is uh, we already done this exercise in Autodesk Inventor. Now you will see the dimensions. All dimensions are in millimeter thickness, three millimeter. All holes are five millimeter. Now, now here we will see we have three views. Now in this view, this is the main size view of side view and there is two type of flange first we have to create one then another we have to mirror it and the gap between these two flanges 20 millimeter thickness 3 millimeter now this is the R main flange you will see 7 7 the corner radius now width 38 43 is the height you will see now 23 millimeter 24 millimeter is the center to center distance 17 millimeter and uh, let's do this now right click on any tabs act activate sheet metal see activate sketch now you have to choose any plane so I'm going to select right plane now activate circle tool let me draw here two small and four uh, right click select out of the activate line and start from here and connect to this point it must be tangent to this point so select the line activate vertical again activate line tool now click somewhere here drag to and if you saw tangent mark just click on that place skip key to out now see both side it is tangent now activate the smart dimension this vertical length 43 38 width now this radius 7 means diameter 14 and this inside hole diameter 5 even though let me try this 17 millimeter and uh, you already observe 24 millimeter this center distance okay now hold shift key select these two circles equal Now see this is also by default 7 ok. Now activate trim entity. Click power trim just press left mouse and drag to the line which you want to delete. So I am just pass just pass and see we have a perfect close and fully defined sketch. Say ok. Now go to sheet metal and activate base flange. Now look, we want to count material thickness from outside. So here thickness 3 millimeter, K factor as it is. Now change direction, reverse direction in inside. K factor, it's a bending allowance and everything including this is going to be factor uh, 0 0.5. It is standard. Uh, we will learn in some other tutorial how to calculate this. Auto relief we don't need here right now so keep as it is say ok. Plane. Now select this outer plane. Flip and 10. Because the gap between outer to outer is 20. Say ok. Choose mirror. Now plane already selected. Now select this. Now see here asking you this metal feature cannot be mirrored individually please try to mirroring a body go to body uncheck merge solid because there is no connection between these two now select see it's selected copy now here we have two bodies but later we will see click hide now back side you we have to make this connection 22 14 millimeter from here and from top view you will see it seems like this okay now here you will see corner radius 6 and uh, 
the length 48 now let's select this face create plane but this is going downward side so simply choose your flip offset and the width uh, height 14 okay go to sketch activate sketch just select the plane activate sketch make sure we are on perfect size okay we want to create on this side activate line and connect to this end point make sure select the line vertical activate a smart dimension and distance from outside it's 48 activate sketch fillet fillet parameter keep radius 6 millimeter and select these two edges say ok and cancel now go to sheet metal and activate base flange now just uh, check the view ok first go to direction thickness change reverse now see it is comes inside still this is moving downward side so in keep end condition blind and move change this arrow upside 22 is the width look thickness 3 millimeter bend radius 3 millimeter okay click and hide but these are three parts you will see one two three these are the separate parts so let combine so let's apply go to eval uh, direct editing or even though you can search it add add one two three just we want to combine see preview hide preview okay now here we have only one part in cut list now we need to create this flange 19 millimeter 24 millimeter is the center distance 6 millimeter from here corner radius 6 13 millimeter from here and what else balance here radius 6 here also 3 millimeter so let's finish it now activate age flange now I'm going to select this edge because I want to move this side. So move this side. Okay. This is the perfect view to now here use default radius 3. Okay. 90 degree bend. Okay. Come flange length. It's going to be 19. 19 from the this outer face to outer face sharp sharpness this is the sharp condition so from here to outer to outer 19 millimeter and a bending position also from inside uh, material from inside see and rest we will keep as it is say ok a sketch activate circle and let me draw here two circles now select both the circle equal relation hold shift key select both the center point vertical a smart dimension 24 diameter 5 and distance from outer edge 6 and distance from inside 13 ok this is fully defined in sheet metal we have option called extruded cut now here keep and from we will keep same end condition we will keep blind and here just click link to thickness if you uncheck you have to apply dimensions but simply select link to thickness and it will cut only up to thickness of the material here you look now we can mirror this feature plane we will choose plane 1 feature here selected cut age also select ok and here we go 
ब्रेक कॉर्नर ट्रिम कॉर्नर फिलेट सिक्स and i am going to select these edges here break type we selected fillet okay look even though again we have to choose break trim corner 3 i am going to select this inside edge okay break corner now if select radius 6 fill it if i am going to choose this one look this is going to cover like this so we are not going to apply this corner because it is not going to accept by system look corner failed so simply here we will apply fill it radius 6 now see fill it took the shape of this constant size fillet item to fillet here selected the edges full preview tangent propagation and radius and this is applied see so this is how we did a simple part in now let's apply edit material see okay now check go to sheet metal and activate flatten and see this is the flatten view if you want to export this as a dxf right click export to dxf and drawing and here say any give any name like uh, sheet metal part 2 or something save now it will uh, tell you few options you want to export as a sheet metal face or you want to just export this face or annotation view so i am going to select sheet metal and here what entities to export so i want to show hidden edge bending line also i want to show sketch also library feature if there is but there is no so i don't need forming tool also here we don't have anything so just keep as it is say okay now look window is created now from here you can if you choose pan you can pan zoom in zoom out here click zoom zoom to all and these all the things simply click save and those things save and now you can use those drawings in any other uh, cad softwares I hope you like it don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solidworks thanks for watching